Hi, welcome to the Hummingbird Feeder painting program at the Elfin Library. This is the um, supplies that you have in your package. The instructions, practice paper, Hummingbird facts. You have your um, hanger, your wine bottle, and um, a holder. I did it with a, a piece of cardboard. Your stopper, you need a wet towel to start it. You need your paint, your brush, and you also need a little cup for water in case the paint is too dry. So let's start it. I'm all set, all my paintings, all uh, the water, my little tissue, paper, or, or wet towel, and our wine bottle. I'll put a little cardboard on the bottom so it won't roll. So the first part we're gonna do with white paint, we're gonna get some white paint, and we're gonna draw um, a stretch out S shape. So we're gonna do an S here. It's the bottom of the, the breast of the bird. So we're gonna do an S here. And then we're gonna do another S from the top. And we're gonna join an S with the bottom of, of our first, the end of our first S. And we're gonna fill it in with white paint. So fill it in with five white paint. This is gonna be the breast of our, our bird. Okay. For our next step, we're gonna need a green paint. So I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit. You don't have to wash it all, but just to clean a little bit. And then with the green, we're gonna make first the, the, the head. So the head is gonna be an oval. We're gonna mark an oval from the start of the white A, first white S. And we're gonna do a little oval here half and half and over, right there. And we're gonna do a second line, the interior of the oval, so it will be a little bit more thick. And the next step is the back. The back, we're gonna do a little um, hump here, a little hump, not big. And we're gonna go way down, almost at the same level that is the end of the S. That is gonna be our um, back, the back of the bird. So for our next step, we're gonna get some green again, and we're gonna extend our green, but we're gonna do, we're gonna go up and we're gonna finish to the end of the first S. That's it gonna be the tail of our bird. And we're gonna fill it in with green. We're gonna fill in all the body except the head. The head, we're gonna leave the head without painting for right now. Okay, this is for our first step. And here is the back and the breast of our bird. The next step is start doing the wings. For the wings, we're gonna draw first. We're gonna do an inside triangle for the front wing. So I'm gonna do a wing here, like a little triangle that go into the body, right there. So this triangle go into the body. This is our um, wing that is ahead, I mean in front of us. And the wing that is back, we're gonna draw a little triangle, um, in the, here, in the neck. 
It's gonna be more little because it's behind. So that is our first strokes for our um, wings. Okay, so now the next step, we're gonna start doing the feathers. For the feathers, we're gonna start with the pink paint. So I'm gonna grab pink. And this is very important. The wings, I have to start with a long stroke first to begin. And then we have to repeat these strokes and do it slightly shorter while you go into the wing. So I'm gonna do a long stroke here. And then I'm gonna draw another one. You can tell I don't do it close together. I mean, I do it close, but not that close that they can, you can see that there's two different strokes. And if you go more down close to the body, you will go and do more little strokes. So close to the body, little strokes, and we can do a long row here. And I'm gonna do the other wing. The other wing is the opposite side. So I'm gonna do the opposite side. I'm gonna do the first the long one. And then we're gonna do a an, an, um, mirror image. So I'm gonna do the same thing, shorter as I go. But here I'm just gonna see it until I got the neck. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And with the pink also, we're gonna draw a little triangle. And this triangle will be in between the green and this white. That is gonna be our cheek. It's a red cheek. So, well, we're gonna do it like kinda pink, but it's okay. So it's gonna be a triangle. It's in between the two colors. And I'll try to get to get close to the beak. Okay, so this is our uh, fifth step. I hope you're doing good. Okay, now we're gonna use now the blue paint. The blue paint is to get a little bit more thicker feathers and more colorful, of course. So we're gonna do exactly the same that we did with the um, with the pink. We're gonna do strokes in between. You don't have to be so precise. You just have to just do some strokes. The same thing, longer if you're um, in the, the top of the wing, longer and short, shorter as you go down. And I like to put some um, little strokes here, just to make it that it's gonna be colorful. Okay, so this is gonna be our uh, sixth step. For our next step, you can do more colors than this if you have more colors at home. I did a yellow color because I like to light up a little bit. So the yellow make me um, light up a little bit the wings. So I do a stroke with yellow too. So I'm just gonna put some yellow, the same thing. Just, and it doesn't, it just little strokes. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the point of these programs. You just have to enjoy it, not be perfect. Okay, so we're gonna put some yellow here. And I'm gonna put some yellow also on the tail, a little bit, strokes here and there. Face, we're gonna do it with the brown. So I'm gonna do, in this bottle, you will not notice as much of difference that on other colors, but we can work on this. So we can do our face, it's just 
fill in the rest of the little triangle that I got here. And then we're gonna make a P, a beak. Just do a long stroke here. And that's gonna be the part of the beak, okay? And also we need to do the little feet. For the feet, it's easy. I'm just gonna do two strokes, one and two, like a little B. That will be the feet. We're not gonna complicate it more. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give uh, the face. So I'm gonna put uh, an eye on it. For the eye, you can do it with a tooth toothpick or a little bit of white to do the eye. And I also light up with a little line on the top of the beak. That will make us um, the, the color get a little bit more shine. And um, I do a little bit of white on the top of the wings. I just go a little bit of white here on the top of the wing and I do a little bit here. That's it, I'm not gonna move in more and I'm gonna do a little white here and I'm gonna put a little white on the head here. And I'm gonna put it right down a little bit. So it just make it look more colorful. Okay, so this is our bird. This hummingbird needs a little flower, so we're gonna paint a flower for it. We're gonna paint a trumpet vine blossom. So we're gonna start with the yellow painting, and we're gonna get yellow paint. And we're gonna do first three curves, and these three curves will be touching the bird's beak. So I'm gonna do the first one, I'm gonna do it in front of his beak. I'm gonna do another one and another one. Okay, so what I'm gonna I try to do is I try to join the curve like a little wave. So it's three curves and then join them. Now, we're gonna make um, three other curves, but they're gonna be opposite ways. So we're gonna do one, the opposite way, two, three. And we're gonna do the same. We're gonna making like little waves. Now we're gonna um, do some curves with a bell-shaped line. So we're gonna make this inside curve, inside curve, and then we're gonna do like a little bell. I'm gonna put yellow in the half of the flower. So fill it in half of the flower with the yellow color, just the yellow. Don't go all the way through half of it. For our next step, we're gonna change colors. Now we're gonna use the pink one. We're gonna fill in our flower. So, yeah, I'm gonna put pink inside of the flower. So this is the deal. Here, we have to mix both colors. We're gonna mix the yellow and the pink. So just mix it up. I can use a little bit more of yellow so I can mix them up. And see that's gonna make us have in the middle half. I'm gonna make you an, like an orange color in the middle. We're gonna take the green paint. And the green paint we're gonna do the base of our flower. 
I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna do three strokes at the end of the flower. Just one, two, three. So now to do um, the steam, we're gonna do just a, like an S, an S shape, a backwards S shape. So I'm just gonna do it right here and do an S. For the bud leaf, we're gonna do one in the middle and then I do three on one side. I do three on the other side. You see? So I'm gonna do one in here. I do is one in the middle and then I, I turn a little bit my brush and I do one, two, three, and I go the opposite direction. One, two, three. Just like that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do a little string and do a little string. To leave, we're gonna do, you can do one novel, half of a novel, oval, half of a novel, and fill it in. I'm gonna do the other side, half of a novel, half of a novel, and fill it in. Now, I can, this, this kind of flower, they have tendrils. So, I'm gonna, the vines, let's do some tendrils here, just curve here, a little curve here, doesn't matter if it's not very, just do it like that. And for, to finish it, I would like to do just very simple flowers all around. And the little simple flowers is very easy. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, or five. You can do five or six, whatever you want. And then I put a little color in the middle. Point, I'm sorry. Point in the middle. Okay? That's, I like to put little flowers like this, all colors possible. And that's it. That's your your final painting. Um, to let it dry, and when you finish it, we had to put a clear coat on it. So because it's gonna be outside, and we don't want the rain to mess it up. So you can come by the library, and we're gonna, gonna um, with your bottle, and we give you the the clean coat here clear coat i put it i can put it on so you don't have to buy a whole thing and um and that's done you're gonna have your beautiful bird feeder and i'm gonna show you two examples that i did that's gonna different if you think that this is too hard to do and um you can do also just with the same technique of the little flowers i did this one if you see it's just little flowers everywhere Put it like it is and because the bottom part is i put the here more green because it's going to be the part that is going to hang and um also this this bottle has this cute sign so i like it too so here is what you can do and i'm going to show you another one that i did and this is more like um, grapes mine so here and it's the same technique you just go and have fun just remember to put it upside down because if not the design will not show when you hang it well that's it so I hope you enjoy it as I did thank you very much see you later